to a container carrying content going to a continent but the question is this what are the contents in your container it is so painful that the people that are dead cannot be forgotten and the people that are existing are not noticed a man that carries this fire is a man that sees a need and meets the need and meets the need and provides solution to the need. Help is here. Help is here. Father, we thank you. Thank you for sending help to us. Burdens are lifted. Help has come. We are no longer confused. Now we know you are in charge. You are the one riding the boat of our destiny. You are the one flying the jet of our lives. No matter the turbulence, we are safe because you are in the plane. Thank you for the assurance again. You will never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We trust you. We rest in you concerning our marriages, concerning our finances, concerning our ministry, concerning our academics, concerning our destiny, concerning our job, concerning every detail of our life. We trust you now. We know you are in charge. We know you are in charge. Our mind is at rest. Our mind is at rest. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus in this meeting. You are the director of this service. It's a privilege to represent you. I'm not the most qualified and I'm the most anointed, but the mercy of God can qualify me. Holy Ghost glorify Jesus in this meeting. Heal the sin, deliver the oppressed. Set our hearts of life. Give us instructions. And I vow not to take the glory. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Give God a shout of praise as you have your sins. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I celebrate everybody for coming today. Pastors, we celebrate you, everybody. You are welcome to the prayer tent today. And uh, uh, thank you for coming. Week in, week out, you are we are preaching because you came. And we appreciate your coming. If you didn't come, who are we going to preach to? Well, I would have preached to the chairs, but it's not very easy to preach to the chairs. But well, thanks for coming. Hallelujah. Let me celebrate PMO today. We celebrate you. Is that the way to celebrate my wife? I won't preach. I will not preach. Wait, 
It's not wait. It's not real. It's not real. Do it better. Do it better. Do it better. Wait, wait. Listen. Every pastor has a pastor. The pastor of the pastor is the pastor you can't see. When pastor is worn out, there's someone that pastors the pastor. Well, you see, I'm here today under the wings of the spirit. I'm, I'm practically exhausted as a man being. In fact, I broke down Sunday night. The people around my house, you know, that's not just wrong with pastor. I got back home. I broke down. I was finished. I couldn't do anything again. I was already I started feeling, and God already warned me. God said, son, anytime you break the law of rest, if you are sick, it's not me. Work, Babere. And God told me, he said, healing anointing will not work if you break tomorrow. Because why? You are disobeying the law. You get the idea? <laughs> he, said you are, he said you are disobeying the law. So see this one, healing anointing. He said, maybe I am anointing like that. you now pray for you. But that one, I knew that I needed help. And the only person that can help me is my wife. She was supposed to she was supposed to return back to school this morning because they have lectures today. Reduce yesterday, right? Because she was supposed to return back to school yesterday. But when she saw her, the way her husband was feeling, she was willing to miss lectures so that she can pastor the pastor. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, my rigorous schedule couple with uh, all this, uh, this 21, this fasting. It was like I was going to die. But just be a sinner around. You don't, wait, you know, you won't have, because when you see me, you don't know, you don't know what I'm feeling. So you think, <laughs> in fact, I already told her, I said you are the one preaching today because I didn't plan to. But when I went to the prayer room, I and I came out, she said, You are preaching, Abby. <laughs> I I received supernatural strength, you know. But the idea is that if if she wasn't at home, I know by now I'll be upstairs in my house shaking. Nobody will know because they must not know that pastor is sick. I won't tell them, I'll come down. How are you guys? Everybody, the Lord bless you. And I will return back. I'll just say, <laughs> or I'll just drive my vehicle to. My mother in law's place. I said, take care of me. But you know, she's a nice started taking care of me. She started nurturing me. Started, you know. She did it. And now I feel better. Now, I did not break down because I'm sick or devil attacked me. It's just because I overstressed myself. But when you break the rest limit, there is somebody around your life that can that can make it. Let me celebrate my pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, thank you. She's a, a, a professional exam from part four to part five exam is next month. And this is a critical time to be in school. But she decided to skip lectures so that she can take care of me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I will keep loving you. You know, if we come back again, I will still marry you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If, if you marry my someone like my wife, you can't marry my wife. If you if you marry someone like my wife, you don't you have make it in life. The, do you know what? I was telling my my some of my mentees yesterday, today was yesterday, Pastor Tosi and uh, Pastor Lumidi, I said the girl I married was one tiny girl like this that I can carry with my hand like that and I married her. Now she has a dead flesh. Now wait, what I'm saying is this. I told them, you know, when we were about on the day of our introduction, they called me around 2 a.m. that uh, there was gas explosion. And the gas has burnt her face. I you know my wife, very beautiful girl. I I had dysentery immediately. Constipation. I ran to the toilet. 
Hey, I said, hey. And I began to check all our past pictures. I said, ha! Ah, how can this place born? Hey, I'm finished. I was calling, nobody was picking my calls. Ah, 2 a.m., where will I go to? Is it 2 or 3? Nobody was picking my calls. I, I was afraid. I, ah, a face. I mean, I cherish my wife's face. I'm like, God. And I just told myself, in case her face is burnt, I won't change my mind. I was still over like that. That was the day I conquered beauty. I'm telling you. So I, I already imagine that the face is burnt and she's no longer fine. I already imagine what I will love. So I already agreed. I now called her. I said, eh, well, let's do video call. There was pap, eh, pap on her face. They say she didn't, she said she didn't know maybe the face is burnt, but they used pap to cover it so that maybe there will be a remedy. Hey! And I told her, I said, Well, let me make a promise to you. In case your face is burnt, I will still love you like that. Early in the morning, when she washed off, there was no single sky. I was happy, but I already made up my mind. I was happy, but I already made up my mind that in case the face was born, I was still married like that. So I told my guy, I said, what I married in my wife now is not a beauty, it's a peace. I thank God for her life. I thank God that she's fine, she's hot, she's this one. It doesn't move me. I've passed that level. That day, I graduated above beauty. I had to look for what else can I love that is eternal. What if you get married to that slender girl and she becomes mama? Very big. And you are now disappointed that is this who I married? Or you married a light lady who turned black? Hallelujah. What, no, what if? What if the 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 figure 8 become figure 20, 12. What if there is change after you marry her? So, if you marry her shape and you marry her beauty, at the end of the day, when there is transformation, you'll be disappointed. All these women, thank God for packaging. See them at normal... Oh. <laughs> you see one 52-year-old woman, she'll be looking straight. She's not straight. It's packaging. Are you with me? After one baby suck, <laughs> I'm, te I'm telling you. slay is good but build something somebody can love more than beauty that was the day i conquered it a man got married and the next year the wife had a step and become paralyzed and remain on which year no will you say you are not marrying again because you marry uh hot legs so what is moving me is that hot legs now by the time she's now on which year she didn't plan for it you didn't plan for it will you not stop loving her a pastor neglected his wife for nine months because she was pregnant. How? The woman is very light in complexion. When she got pregnant, all her veins came out green. She was now irritated. A person that is not African magic, real life, all the veins, you know, have you seen veins? Have you seen people, veins come out before? She had green veins from face down. This is a hot lady, you know, light like a uh, uh, not Santa. Do you have you seen Santa before? Eh, Pla Lanta. I don't know who is it. You know Adeshua. <laughs> That's the way she looks. 
and vein came out green all over her body. Her husband said, her husband could not collect food from her hand. She had to wear glove. We have, there is a way we can hold things. It's different. We're not on the same level now. Are you with me? The husband, some of you now, you don't know how your husband will be. That's how I pray. Don't get that vomiting. You see, you see, anybody can be packing for me. <laughs> you are praying and you are vomiting everywhere. You see, somebody that can pack speed. Some guys will not eat your food till you finish. You just better be. <laughs> May God give you good men. Some women are on bed rest from the day they get pregnant. Are you aware? So, do you know? Do you know what you will be? You better put it for supernatural bodies now. I, I'm telling you, my wife didn't spit and vomit throughout. I thank God because I don't know if I can cook. But thank God, God gave me what I can. She didn't spit once. She didn't vomit once for the two babies. And I thank God because me only cook. <laughs> If you're not carrying one bottle around, ah, <laughs> it's not here. I'm telling you, I don't have capacity. But, but thank God. God. God bless you for not giving me. I don't want to see me only. I mean, the pastor could not collect food from his wife. And after the baby, after he devoured that baby, she told her again, you won't give her to any child again. Why? He said, I can't withstand eating you for nine months. And the pastor friend, who happens to be our own pastor, called him. He said, he said, what you married was a beautiful woman. Not your wife. You are a wicked man. Do you know what it means to be pregnant? The psychological torture. Then your man who put the thing now hated you for nine months because you are carrying a seed that he planted. You, you are not Mary. It is not the Holy Ghost that overshadowed you. It is the man. He didn't overshadow. He entered into <laughs> into you hallelujah now he's hating you for nine months guys i beg you grow beyond beauty let beauty be a starting point but don't stay there i told them i said what i married is peace if peace were to be a person this lady is a peace she has never troubled me one day i'm working for you you shop money I will spoil you, eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. May God answer your prayer. In Jesus' name. Let me celebrate that once again. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Wait, let me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Please have your seat like kings and queens in God's presence. And let me celebrate my, my beautiful daughters, Naomi and uh, Tofumi. They are my they are my first choir members. They are my old choir members. That's how we had to sing old songs. Two of me just came back from UK. I'm excited to have you in Nigeria for the first time in the ever tent. Hallelujah. Naomi resumed last week. Yeah, welcome back. Are you ready tonight? Tomorrow, ne next week, Monday is our miracle service. Every last Monday will be miracle service this year. So get ready for miracles, healings. You have somebody that is sick, any affliction. The power of God will be available next week, Monday, as is available today, to heal the sick, to give miracles. Those of you that came late, many of you come late and you don't hear our testimonies. You need to come early so you can hear the testimonies. We had a striking testimony today of a young man uh, mommy you will be interested in this testimony of a young man who a pastor went to go and preach to he accepted jesus he told the pastor i am a criminal he told the pastor i have a gun he told the pastor i do a lot of things 18 year old boy but i'm tired of it i will accept your jesus and the pastor brought him to camp handed him over to police and they sent him to prison for five years he just returned I stand up so they won't think I'm scamming everybody. That's the guy. That's the guy. He went to prison at 18. He returned now. Five years. He's 20, 23 now. He just returned from prison. The pastor came to do evangelism for him. It's not as if he went to the pastor. 
pastor was preaching to him, he accepted the gospel. And the pastor led him to court. Today, sent him to prison. What's in the one? But I asked him, how did he cope? He said it was God's plan. Because in the prison, he had diploma in theology. In the prison, he learned painting. In the prison, he... Eh? He was... Eh? He discovered his talent in the prison. In the prison, he was he was he had rashes and he was sick because he was in he said he was in the worst prison in Nigeria. He said there are about 900 under 18 in their prison. He said in that prison he was sick, and Jesus appeared in the middle of the night to him in the dream. I said, I will help you to carry your burdens. And next morning, rashes disappeared. He said he always feel like dying, committing suicide. But uh, December last year, God rescued him. Now, that is not the story. The story is that I came to church for the first time two weeks ago. Came out for first time. Uh, and somebody in the church said the Holy Ghost led him to reach out to him. How are you? Who are you? Only to discover a story and brought him here today. Evangelism and follow up. The church have lost follow up ministry. We don't reach out to anybody. And uh, like I told him before you came, graciously, we'll be giving him to start his painting business. Hallelujah. If the former God he knew sent him to prison, this new God will set him up. Uh, hallelujah. And we're excited. We told him, I told him, I said, you have work. I will, you will follow me to prison. You can preach to them better than I will do. So, as a house, at least once every two months, we go for prison outreach. And they will lead us, they will lead us to prison. Please have your seat. God bless you. I thought you would thank God for this kind of testimony. That is why you should come early. All this coming late. You, if I didn't do recap now, you won't know. So come early. I so that you can hear. You, if you hear the testimonies today, like somebody said, uh, that mommy said that uh, God told her to sow hundred thousand to white man. She was like hundred thousand. She didn't have. She now sold seventy, and God now gave her that same day, not a lot less. I guess it. Times ten. She said she regretted that she would have borrowed money to make it hundred thousand. Then God would have given her times ten of hundred thousand. You need to be hearing this. It will steer your faith. Someone said God is giving her a lot every day. She has not paid tight. She has not so sick. Yeah. But I just have to say, well, at least we have the testimony. She said God gave her a grant. I did not feel the effect of it. And I'm the one that prophesied. You used to shit your man of God. Are you ready today? So we have been dealing with witnesses for a while, just in a short while. And we will close. We have been dealing with witnesses for a while. And today, I want to speak on the mandate of witnesses. I'm going to speak on four mandates. I hope I can finish it. Whatever I get to, I will stop. The four mandates, or let me say, mandates of witnesses. The mandates of witnesses. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Proverbs 14.25. Let's start from there. Proverbs 14.25. The mandate of witnesses. Proverbs 14, 25. It's not enough to shout, I am a witness. You must do what witness does. There is somebody the Lord said I should tell you, he will restore your eyes. Yes. Yes. You have lost your sight. You used to be very discerning. You lost it. God is saying today, today, your spiritual eyes are restored. Somebody says that I am a witness, and the only thing you can say is the talk. You cannot manifest it. So I'm here today to show you 
the mandate. Let's read the scripture. Want to go? A true witness delivers souls. Wait. A true witness does what? So if you are a true witness, you will look for souls. Evangelism, witnessing, is the characteristics of witnesses. A true witness delivered souls. You can't tell me. A, a boy came to meet me at Wireman Thanksgiving yesterday. He said, Pastor, thank you for Wireman. In January, I won 100 souls. I became, I was afraid. Even me, the man of God. He said, in January, I won. He said, and my goal is 1,000 souls this year. Young boy, she said, pray for me. She said, I'm going to Calabar tomorrow. I need to invade this place. A true, all this, shake, shake, bala, bala, that you only do in church is fake. You are a scammer. That's harsh, right? Sorry, oh. You saw that lady said, she, she said, I went to reach out to somebody. I mean, that's kind of testimony I want to hear this year. A true, that means, if you don't deliver souls, who are you? Wait, wait. What's the opposite of true? Did you do English question? Even biology, this will ask you, uh, mitochondria is in animal cell or plant, animal cell, true or false? Mitochondria is in animal cell, true or false? Hey. <laughs> mitochondria. Animal cell. True or false? Okay. Proton is around the nucleus. True or false? Uh, you, you did it. Okay, I should not turn this class to school. Let's 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 go. Electron is not in the <laughs> okay. Let's go back to Bible. Hallelujah. The body is inside the soul. True or false? <laughs> Abstaining from television is fasting. True or false? False. All this fasting, I do say I'm doing TV fasting. It's a lie. It's a lie. Say I'm doing social media fasting. It's a lie. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I say I'm doing dry fasting. Doing dry fasting, you buy bolle and granules. <laughs> bolle is a fruit, true of us. <laughs> ah, God will deliver you. <laughs> Some of you are doing change of diet, no fasting. Change of diet. <laughs> You only do change your diet. You only change your diet. It's not fast you're doing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, <laughs> people, You better repent. <laughs> Say, I'm standing from TV. Good decision. It's not equal to fasting. Biblical fast, it must involve food. Are you with me? Let me make that clear to you. Biblical fast. When Jesus fasted, how did he fast? He said, after for the process, he was hunger, not he was thirsty, meaning he was drinking water. That's why Satan didn't say, turn this stream to juice. He said, turn this stream to bread, meaning what he lacked was bread. Hallelujah. When Elijah fasted, 
What happened? Was he? What did he have saved from? Food. When Moses fasted, what did he have saved from? When Paul fasted, what did he have saved from? Food. So where did you get your own fasting from? Say you are eating rice, my I'm saying it from social media. It's discipline and decision. That one is not fasting. So, <laughs> hallelujah. So, true or false, right? So that means we are all agree that the opposite of true is false. Okay. Do you agree? Praise God. Answer now. Do you agree? So, a true witness delivered souls. A dash witness neglect souls. Fill in the gap. You still remember English? <laughs> Hallelujah. So, if you don't reach out to souls, who are you? Now you talk about. Say it loud. Say it loud. If you don't deliver souls, who are you? I can't hear you. Sisters. Brothers. Everybody. Say, mention your name. Say, Daniel. If I don't win souls, I am a fake witness. Oh God. Glory to God. Say it again. Say, Daniel. Why are you saying Daniel? Can I mention your name? Say that name, mention your name. Say in this January, before January 31, if I don't win a soul, I am a fake witness. Hallelujah. Do you agree? Ever we mark the script. In the name of Jesus. A true witness. Now, let me tell you the truth. Some of you are thinking, what if you just say, accept my gospel? You are not the converter. Sow the seed of the word and let the Holy Ghost do his work. Many of you are saying, what if he doesn't accept? It's, it's not your business. All you need to do is preach first. You must step out this week. This week is not yet over. Get a neighbor. Say, let's go together. When you are talking, I'll be praying. Now, if, if two of you go and evangelize, it is not the person that says, say after me, that wins the soul. It is for two of you. Some of you are thinking, it is best that says, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I, you, you, you did not say anything. No. If two of you went together, God will account the soul to your account. Are you with me? So you can do two by two. You can do three by three. You can go out this week because a true witness delivered souls. The mandate of witnesses is that they reach out to souls. They, they reach out to souls. They are all out there looking for souls. Looking for convert. Now, delivering souls. This one says save souls. A true witness saves souls. But the first witness say what? I can't hear you. A traitor. Meaning if you are not a soul winner, who are you? Say it. Say I am a traitor. Say I am a traitor. If you are not a soul winner, finish it now. Say I am a traitor. A traitor to God. A traitor to the Holy Spirit. A traitor to Jesus. If I don't win so. Okay, let's say if I don't win so, I am a traitor. <laughs> say, but I'm not a traitor. Because I will reach out to souls. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You don't know how sweet evil is when you win the soul. I said there's a party in evil over a soul that is saved. If God throw party, ah! If God throw party, then God is throwing party on your name. Ah, my Kenny, Baba, why party today, Daniel? <laughs> that guy, TD Souls. And then it's party. Next one again, Gabriel, just, ah, ah, close for party now, Daniel, you know. When you get to heaven, I will give my party, let me Ah, ah, Baba, only party. <laughs> As you are entering heaven, Gabriel is coming. Hey! The party guy, well, you will not die quickly because they don't want to miss party. They like party. <laughs> Hallelujah. They want party, right? Because if it's only doing uh, only, only, only. The only thing they can do is when you win a soul. Hallelujah. <laughs> Everyone will be. <laughs> Are you here? So if you make them stop there, only, only. Because when, when you win a soul, they quickly... Are you here? There's a party. So they stop this holy, holy. And they be, ah, eh, because that one, everyone, God is happy. Then when there's also holy, holy, 
Holy, holy. They have been doing it for years. So they like party. So if you are the one that is making them do party, you can't die. Oh. If accident is coming, Gabriel just come. Hey, come here. For body party, why? Ah, uh. <laughs> when, when things are tough for you, my guy will just show up. No, this is a party guy. You know, in the world, people always like the guys that spend money for them. Eh? If there is a guy that when you go out together, we buy something for you, would you like the person? You will always protect the person, right? So, Gabriel and Michael, they always like to protect the guy that's making them do dancing. You can't die in accident. You can't be kidnapped. If they kidnap you, they will release you. Because Gabriel will show up. Michael will show up. This one, Hero, the party guy. We have, we have been doing holy, holy, holy. And the guy always is chopped. Maybe every day you are giving them party time. Ah. says there is party in heaven. Over a soul. Imagine the month you are delivering 1,000. And remember, they are not living in 24 hours. They are not calculating. They are not living in 24 hours. So imagine the interruption you are doing in the activity in heaven. All the angels in heaven are on attention around your life. When there is a battle, they show up. When you are stranded, they show up. Why? You are the party guy. Tell your neighbor, say, will you be the party guy? If you want to pray, I say, God, you know I'm the party guy. God say, yeah, I understand. Okay, we'll sort it. Because God himself, he likes the party. He said, there is party in it. There is rejoicing over us. Along online party. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. The reason why Satan doesn't want you to win so is that he likes to pepper God. You know the guy was the music mini, music minister in heaven, head of choir. You know he was head of choir in heaven. You know the whole body part of Satan, Lucifer, is music, huh? So he likes the place to just be boring. So he likes to distract men from making heaven lively. So he will not allow you to whistle. He will always distract you so that the place can be. But the word put party in heaven is so winning. So Satan is an anti soul winning agency. It's an anti soul winning agency. The whole architecture of Satan is against soul winning. When you want to start winning soul, you are afraid. You have to be beating fast. You want to preach in the bus, you are afraid. Your heart is beating. Does it happen to you? Your, your, your lips is now shaking. Should I talk? Should I not talk? Will they accept me? Will they not accept me? You want to talk to somebody? You are, you are not used to greet me. And good morning, sir. Good, good, good morning, sir. Go. Just say it. But Satan is putting fear in your heart. Don't say it. He will not accept it. If the person doesn't accept it, it's good. You have sown a seed. He might sleep and angels will come and visit him in the night. If God can visit Saul of Tarsus on his way to Damascus, he can visit anybody. But they will not hear until you preach. Are you with me? Angels don't do evangelism. That's why they told Cornelius, go and call Peter. The angel could have done it by himself. Are you here? Angel could have said, uh, Cornelius, I am here from the Lord to save you. But well, it's not in their jurisdiction. He said, go and send. He said, your prayers and your hands have gotten to God. They have come as a memorial to God. Now send for Peter. Send for Peter. Meaning, this evangelism work is the work of men, not the work of angels. Angels cannot preach the gospel. At best, they will refer you to a man. That's why they appeared to Paul in the dream. Come to Macedonia. Come and help us. Number three, evidence of that. The angel came, Holy Spirit came to Philip. Go and join that man on the chariot. Couldn't he teach him? Are you with me? But he said, Philip, leave crusade ground. Go to that man. Ethiopia Enoch, go and meet him. And when he got there, understand that, that word already did. He said, how can I understand what somebody teaches me? And the guy preaches to him, got him baptized, and disappeared. Why didn't the angel preach to him? When he said, oh God, save them. God is saying, I need you. 
Because God likes collabo. Heavenly collabo. When God and you can partner together to win the soul, the Holy Ghost will work on their heart. You say the word. But angels will not win the soul. Hallelujah. Who will win the soul? Who will preach? Any minister here, uh, you have seen that the Jew don't preach without doing altar call. No matter how sweet the service is, altar call is not a disruption. Neither is it a distraction. It's a necessity. Sometimes I will forget. I say, stop, stop. You want to give a little cry. I have to do it. Never preach without altar call. Somebody might need the opportunity. Say this year, I will not be a traitor. I'll be a faithful witness. Shout it very loud. Say this year, I will not be a traitor. I'll be a faithful witness. Let me do one more. Are you blessed at all? Number two, John 12, 17. John 12, 17. A true witness. Bears. A true witness. Bears witness of his experience. A true witness bears witness of his experience, of his or her experience. A true witness bears witness of his or her experience. John 12, 17. Hallelujah. A true witness bears witness of I like this scripture. I love it so much. Are you there? If you are there, say praise God. If you are not there, say wait for me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's read. The people therefore that was with him, when he called Lazarus out of the grave and raised him from the dead, what they do? They bear record. Verse 18. For this cause, the people also met him for they that heard that he had done, for that they heard that he had done this miracle. A true witness, bears witness of his experience. Look, stand up. This is Philip. What did he do today? Let me ask you a question. How many of you felt encouraged to go and witness after his testimony? How many of you felt guilty for the people you have neglected? Did I preach about it? His experience is a message. He said, I went to the prison. But in the prison, I met Jesus. If I carry him to prison tomorrow, and he says, guys, maybe he uses like two or three of their terms, what they used to say, that the prisoners will be familiar with. Or he goes back to the prison where he left. There are guys there who are on death sentence, who will never leave. And they know him. And he said, Jesus saved me. I'm not a pastor. If I preach and I'm shouting, it will go a long way. But if he says his story, it will go longer. Why? A true witness bears witness of his experience. I was sick. Jesus healed me. He can heal you. It's deeper than saying, do you know by his stripes you were healed? The scripture is powerful, right? But somebody is sick now. You are saying, but according to the Greek word, the stripes means Jesus took 39 lashes, and but according to the to, to the dimension and the frequencies of the the one just looking at you. But say not die. I said, I'm going to die. I said, I was here. I was admitted in this hospital. They thought I was going to die. But suddenly Jesus showed up. Ah, I was I was bad for 10 years. I didn't know I was going to give birth. But Jesus showed up. He will give you your own. Do you know what you have done? If God did it for her, you have done it before. You will do it again. His name is Jesus. He's a friend. He has done it before. He will do it again. His name is Jesus. He's a very great God. If God has done it for somebody around me, He can do it for me. Please, you can go back to your seat. It was because they had 
It was because they had spread the word of this latest God sign. Hey. That the crowd swelled to a welcoming parade. There are people that will come to your church because of the testimonies they heard. Guys, you can't keep quiet on testimonies. There are people that came to Wyoming because they heard what God did last year. Are you with me? There are... Let me ask you a simple question. How many of you started following Pastor Daniel because somebody told you about him? Pastor, if anybody told you about me? So, somebody spoke to you about Pastor and he started following Pastor. Anybody like that, yeah? Raise up your hand very well. Okay. But who spoke to you about one of you? Your daughter. When she started talking, you were like, you know, why? Everybody should only run to the river 10. So what happened? I expect media to be very, to know what to do. I see. I felt the presence of God in the program. And, so that coming. Is, yes. and you got a lot too. <laughs> Ten <laughs> times. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me choose the question. How many of you got a miracle after somebody told you about maybe the program or and you got a miracle by you came because somebody told you of what God was doing and you got your own miracle. Okay, let's hear from mommy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody invites me to this program when we are still in that belter. And the miracle that God gave me that I invite my son. And today, now, God did a wonderful thing in life of my son. Even your program yesterday, my son was there with his wife. I give God glory because God used the program to change my son's marriage. Praise the Lord. Wow. So that means they were having issues in their marriage before that time. Wow. You need to share this thing. So, and anyway, let's do one more person in this side. One more person in this side. Let's. Let's. Let's hear from. You. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After YMR. You receive boldness to preach. Bless me. I preach to one of my friends. You preach to your friend today? Uh, yes. After the meeting? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So, how did you know about the meeting? Somebody told you, right? My cousin. Your cousin told you? About my... What I'm saying is that there are people that will never know until you talk. Thank God. Like this meeting now. People don't have space to sit as so we are sitting outside there. As good as that is, compared to the number of people on this redemption camp. But you know, there are people that are never aware that they don't know anything is happening here. Are you, are you with me? They don't know. So, a true witness, BS witness of his experience. I went for a meeting. My life changed. Tell your neighbor, follow me. That's what they do in club. That's what we do in club. Guy, come, come. Me will go high. Come, come. Me will go enjoy. Me will go shy. The guys that went into pornography, went into all these girls' issue, how did they enter? Somebody introduced them. Do you know it was in secondary school my mate taught me about a uh, brother? Because I was, where, where do you always go? He said, I go to... I know the names of the place. I didn't attend anyone. I didn't go because I was afraid. But the, I know the name. I know the name of the brother in my street. They told me. I said, ah, when you get to Ado, this is this one you go in Okesha. This one you go in. There's one in Shato. There's one in uh, 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 Shato. <coughs> Don't let me explain the description so you're going to be looking for it. 
Hallelujah. I mean, I, I, if not because I had the fear of God, I would have gone there to one day and say, because that time I was not born again now. But it's not that I was afraid. What if you have HIV AIDS? That was why I didn't go. I'm telling you, not because I don't want to go. I was like, hey. I said, well, if you go and have HIV AIDS, you go. But I knew it. Do you know what? My challenge is that the people of the world are so vocal. The people of the kingdom are so quiet. If David is doing concerts, you will see guys posting on their status. You will see bloggers. You will see... You, how many of you follow to the head not? Don't pretend the... You saw his birthday, right? How did this... Is it not people? In case you don't even know him, the way you are seen everywhere, you want to... Are you with me? Some of you don't know anything about Brick Brother. But the way people are talking about one person, you not you not join us. So they say that you are... Let me confess to you. Some of you think I used to watch Bob very well. <laughs> I, how do I know what is happening? I check somebody. Say, I will not call. I can look will any. I will not come to my own. I say, God bless this. <laughs> <laughs> Some people will think I used to watch Bob like that. <laughs> the only ball I watched in two years is World Cup final. <laughs> I'm telling you. But I got to, I, will, I always verify the information. I will call somebody, call somebody, I'll call Moses. <laughs> Moses will come, come to my pastor, I will learn, no? kill his course. So, <laughs> he will give me updates. Me, I will go and update it. You will think I'm current. <laughs> I mean, how can, the, how can people be that vocal about their experience? Okay, I watched uh, Arsenal Man U yesterday. I watched that one. I was very happy. I, I quickly put on my status. I, I said, I'm Arsenal, I won't make blood like mathematics. It's very sweet. You know, I was enjoy- I couldn't keep it to myself, but somebody will go to church, experience God, and you can't talk about it. Your pastor is blessing you. You can't talk about it. You attended a program. He's blessing you. You will keep quiet. Say so that they will not say, I'm, I'm worshipping my pastor. But you can worship mercy. Hallelujah. No, so you can worship mercy now. You can you can kill yourself for see Ronaldo, but you can't post anything they taught you in church on Sunday. Your pastor have never blessed you. Say it's good, it's mercy, it's Ronaldo, it's mercy, it's Ronaldo, it's Nema, it's uh, Mbappe, it's uh, Saka, it's uh, uh, Alan, it's a. Uh, uh, you should have known the name. I don't care. But you can be vocal. But when it comes to the kingdom. I mean, what stops you after Sunday service? Can you do an analysis of the message on your status? And let your friend request for the link to download the message. Some of you that are following our ministry now, are following because you search on somebody's status, right? Praise God. So imagine other people also following you too. A witness, best witness of his experience. That's the idea. If you are a genuine witness, now let me ask you a funny question. How many young people here, for those who are following us very well, fell in love with Daddy Gio because of me? Raise up your hand. Daddies and mommy will not understand what I'm saying. But raise up your hand very well. Lift it above your head and keep it there. You see the people? This lady stand up. She's a Baptist member. She followed me so much until I changed her church. She got a job on camp. They ask her, she remember. I went there. I say I'm a pastor. And she don't work as in training. It's on me. <laughs> SOD on me. And because they know me, they gave her the job. But she's a Baptist member. But because of the way I always talk about the Jew, my father and the law, my father and the law, my father. Now people are accusing her that you don't love the day more than Baptist church. They don't know she has left self. <laughs> is it, it's not a... You see, we are not preaching denomination, right? Because, let me tell you the truth. Everybody will not be a redeemed member. If redeemed were to be the only church, some people will never be born again. Are you with me? Yes, but some people will follow you because of you. That's the idea. Some will believe in... How many of us are praying in tongues because of me? Raise up your hand. 
Uh, don't pretend. When we started this move, people criticize us. Which one is speaking to us for 12 hours? But today it's not fashionable because I stood my ground. How many of you fasted three days for the first time during YMR? You see, you see them? Because when I come and say, I've just done, I'm, I'm on 50 days now, it's not to make you respect me. It's just so that I can ginger you. If pastor can do 50 days, I can do three days. When I come to say, I, God is blessing me, I'm not trying to booger. I'm just trying to drag you into my conviction. Because a witness, see what they say, I used to take up, talk about my wife. I'm trying to tell you that marriage is sweet as a believer. When we got married, we told God on our wedding night, Lord, we sacrifice our wed, our marriage as example to our generation. That's why we don't hide anything. You think it's not? We want to keep a private life, but we already signed agreement that we need to tell the young people that this is possible. Will of God is possible. People live in our house. One of them asked me one day, say, Pastor, I've been here for two years. I've never seen your mama hug you once. Hello, sir. If I preach on the altar, I don't argue with my wife. It will go down. But if you live with two years and you saw it, which one is better? You can't take it from that guest's mind that pastor and his wife has never argued in two years in our presence. And you can't pretend for long because very soon you forget people are with you. If you stay one week, we can be packaging. Are, are you with me? But this is two years. You see us in the morning. You see us in the night. We, you see us playing together, you know, say. The things you see, nobody can take from you. The things you hear, you can forget. When we came to start doing all these things we are doing, supernatural is not done by young people. Many of us told you that you can do miracles. Is that correct? But we started seeing miracles here. And many young people now have entered into this thing because of our experience. The mommy that testified that she gave to YMR, how many of you felt I need to give as she was testifying? Raise up your hand. You see? See what the testimony have done. If I preach it, it will look as if I want to shop our money. But your testimony convicted them more than my message. Testimony. Testimony is power. Tell us what God has done for you. Tell us what your everybody is abusing your church. You talk to us about how your church has blessed you. Tell us they say pastor is fake. You tell them I have a pastor. I was saying how many young people I follow. I know many young people because young people don't know that it's you. It is elders that know him. Not know as he know, but following him. Are you with me? They feel like it's for our fathers. When we just stand the ones who are there, somebody else. they want the jumping, jumping, jumping. And they start a jumping person, always referring them back to the standing. And I will come and say, all this jumping is because the person standing is giving me something. So they are under compulsion to reverence who I reverence. If you honor me, you honor the person I honor. Are you with me? So now they they follow Daddy Gio because of his son. That's why I pity pastors who are always fighting those under them. I was telling my son yesterday, uh, Pastor, I said, see, our family is getting stronger. There are people that followed you to this meeting. They like you. They follow you. They met me. Is a family something. You, you get, did you get, you, <laughs> I don't know this man now. He's Pastor Tosi's member. But now he's following me back to back because Pastor Tosi brought him. So how will you now fight the person under you when the person will increase your family? So it is foolishness for any man of God to, to try to put their subordinate down. When your subordinate is rising, you are not looking for a way to pull them down. You don't know if the person under you rises, his influence will affect your influence. Are you with me? Daddy Joe is the father in a lot of Bishop Wedeko, right? Bishop Wedeko is father of Pastor Paul in nature, right? So every Dunamis member said that you as their grandfather. 
So if you enter a town, you don't find dunamis, you don't find winners, you go to redeem. Because it's a family something. You, you, you get what I'm saying? That's the idea. That's the idea. That's how God increases us. That's how God pro That's why we need to understand kingdom partnerships. Do you know what Pastor Nat, Pastor Victoria and Pastor Lucy, do you know what they have done? Can you see all these collabs they are doing? Do you know how beautiful it is? It's not only whiskey that they do like that. Now, see, whiskey they're good for Tom. All of you are fighting. Found whiskey, let me. Found the people, let me. So they shock you. So let's go for Tom. The money will come back to their account. Whiskey fan will come. David O fans will come. So then we have more money. The, the, the place David O can park by himself is okay. The place Whiskey can park by himself is okay. But the two of them together. But pastors will be fighting themselves. Pastors will be angry with themselves. Pastors will tell me, but don't go to that pastor's program. Some pastors will even fix program on the day of your program. They, it's not as if God let them. Move. They will now intentionally leave this program at that time. Say, God, God, let me. Ah, may God save us in the kingdom. Are you blessed today? Are you blessed today? You don't have to do everything. The people God called to let them do their own. You do your own. And let's all combine together. Praise the Lord. It's buffet. I'm going to my job every time. Ever, 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 ever. You have a shock. Glory to God. So, as I close tonight, there are people that will come because of your testimony. A true witness bears witness of his experience. See, after we say a true witness, bears witness of his experience. If this meeting has blessed you, share your experiences with people. If the man of God has blessed you, share your experiences. Don't be quiet. They will say your own is too much. Uh, where is uh, Leviticus? Where is the Samaya Miko? You see, this, this man, if I need my message, I'll go and ask him, do you have this my message? He, he asked, it's an icon of, even what I did, I don't know when I preach, he knows it. He asked the mess, my message bank in his spirit. So I will ask him, which message did I preach on this one? He will, he will bring it out to me. Do you know what he has done? Anytime I check his status, his status is like uh, my, my destiny library. So, if I want to watch myself, I just go to status and I begin to watch. You know, sometimes you don't like to check yourself by yourself. It's not easy to go to you by checking, you need to watch your message. Like, kill him, preach. Like. <laughs> you don't know it happens to a man of God. Like, mm, I don't even like the way you are doing. See the way you are jumping. See, see, see. see the way you are even looking. Can't you calm down? <laughs> I'm telling you. But if I want to watch myself, I'll not go to his status. I'll be checked. Ah, what a deep God. Ah, ah, this guy. I'm the person I'm watching, you know. But because it's somebody, I believe if somebody else can post it, that means what I said made sense. I'm still human being. <laughs> I'm telling you. Do you know what he has done? He, he just I just have a respect for him. That somebody believes so much in you. I just honor, I just honor him for that. There are people who were insulting him. You are big next day. Tell them Peter, hey, is there any Peter you are posting? If they, you to post your own picture, let us see your own face. Is it only so, 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 so. And there are people that decided to. All the people that were insulting that time, they are starting following him now. They will now ask him, how can we meet him? How can we do this one? Are you here? The same thing do for your Jesus. Don't say my account is official account. Don't say my Instagram is for so only corporate. If people that are other religion are not shy to put gospel, why are you shy? Tell them about your Jesus. What has he done for you? Carry it on your head. Tell us about how Jesus has blessed you. Tell us. It. You know, I saw something yesterday on the... Uh, so, whose status? Or somebody said, why are... If you no know, pastor demands your first fruit, one uncle, and now could not reply. <laughs> You can't tell me how to spend my money. When you spend your own with Allen babes, did I did I fight you? When you were spending your own money on your clubs, did I fight you? Why are you not telling me what I do with my own money? You get the idea? It's time to give it back to back. Hallelujah. But we'll give it honorably. 
We will give you with meekness. If you give me talk, I savage you. Hallelujah. But we do it with humility. You see how these Christians are nonsense. I saw I followed one girl on TikTok. She she entered me and said, Do you know those girls that are spiritual? You know those girls? They're always prayerful. Those girls, they don't know anything more than God. Those girls, everything is church, church. Can I tell you the truth? I'm one of them. <laughs> I mean, you know the thing. I was like, what kilometers of mine? Kilometers of mine. And that thing got me. I just I said, I like you. I like you. <laughs> I said, I like you for this. So if you are tired of spirit cocoa girls, hey, you have meet one. This is the spirit cocoa babe. Glory to God. <laughs> you can't keep quiet. Don't allow them to make you keep quiet. Don't chicken out. Don't be afraid. Be bold. For God, I have not given us of fear, but of power, Lord, and of sound mind. You can't. You need to be vocal. Tell us about your God. Be like Daniel in Babylon. They can't keep quiet. Say, for where? We can't keep quiet. They say, don't pray. The guy open window. Ah, yeah. But what that name? Tima meet the Lord. Oh, I'll give you my five. The guy, the guy open window. May I not pray? Okay, now. Money. Afternoon. Right. I said, was not afraid, but you, Nazi. Are you blessed today? For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Give God praise today. Are you blessed today? Father, we thank you for this service. We give you all the praise for the word. Be thou exalted. Our spirit and we receive boldness to witness in the name of Jesus in Jesus day we are praying give God a shout of praise uh please ushers free basket let's give our offering uh tonight for those online and uh, get me the flyers in my car just like our priest today about about um talking about your experience we are going to give you flyers for remember tent so that you can share and uh, with your friends and invite them next week. By the grace of God, Friday is 12 hours. <laughs> we are going to be praying the Holy Ghost for 12 hours at RCCG City of God Church beside Redemption Water. That's what we are going to do it every this year. That's our venue for the year. Every last Friday of the month this year. 12 hours from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Just come and pray. Just come and pray. Don't miss that encounter. And invite your friends, invite your family. Uh, for those who, those who are online, want to give their offering online. The account number is three eight five zero zero three nine eight eight nine. Fire my bones up with whatever tent. Three eight five zero zero three nine eight eight nine. Three eight <clears throat> three eight five zero zero three nine eight eight nine. Three eight five zero zero three nine eight eight nine. Hallelujah. Get your offering transfer. The account is Echo Bank. Echo Bank. Have my bones of Echo Bank. Transfer your offering. Um, don't miss 12 hours of Friday. Please, this is the flyer for the Baba tent. Please share. And let me say this to you. Some of the challenges young people have is that people say when you are trying to uh, talk about your man of God, they call it you are worshiping the man. Not actually. You are actually glorifying Jesus in the life of the person. Let me say the truth to you. God will surely use the man. Are you with me? So it's not about who the man is, about the Christ behind the man. God will use one man. So don't allow anybody to say, Your own is too much. You are shouting about your pastor. It's only your pastor that is in the world. My pastor is not the only pastor, but people shout about mercy. Why are you not killing them? Do you get the idea? Devil always like it to keep quiet. Some of you, you don't like to comment on things online from your men of God. You don't like, to, but you can comment on Insta blog. Nobody is fighting for commenting on Insta blog, you know. Are, are you with me? But as soon as you get, start doing for your church page, posting your church pictures, start talking about your pastor, talk about the meeting you attended, they will say your own is too much. Don't allow the devil to silence you. Don't be a traitor this year. 